spring scales, newtons, and inclined planes. Have you heard of Isaac Newton, the gravity guy? He might be most well known for developing the theory of gravity, gravity that keeps us from floating away and keeps apples falling down, not up. But he also developed the laws of motion, the second of which says that the more something weighs, the more force it will take to move it. Newton actually had a unit of measurement named after him that I'd like you to take a look at. Hi guys, tomorrow you are going to be using a spring scale and you are going to be measuring force with your spring scale and Mrs. Matthews is kindly modeling the spring scale for us and if we go up close you will see that the measurement units on it, on this side, it's grams. But we're actually not going to use it to measure mass, we're going to use it to measure force. So she's going to turn it, and on the other side, you'll see an N. The N stands for Newtons, and we measure force in Newtons. There's also a scale on this. So between 0 and 1, the 1 isn't marked, but between 0 and 1 are 5 marks, which would tell you that each mark represents two tenths. Okay? And we are going to pull the math book across a flat surface. If Mrs. Matthews kindly hooks that onto the string on the math book. Mm, it's a dictionary. Yeah, you're right, it's a dictionary. Isn't she smart, guys? I bet you miss her. All right, so she's going to pull it and she's going to hold the spring scale horizontally. There we go. And let's see if we can get in closely how many Newtons it takes to pull a dictionary. Whoa, I don't know if you can see that, but it's hovering right on the two. So we will say that it takes two Newtons to pull the old blue dictionary across a flat surface. You're going to need to know that for the predictions you're about to make. So to be clear, it takes two newtons of force to pull the dictionary across a flat or zero degree surface. Tomorrow, however, you are going to use the spring scale and you are going to pull the old blue dictionary in a vertical motion. So first you will pull it straight up in the air at a 90 degree angle. You'll essentially be lifting it straight up in the air. But then you're going to create an inclined plane and you're going to create that at an 80 degree angle. And you will then, with the spring scale, pull the dictionary up. Finally, you will adjust that inclined plane until it is just at a 40 degree angle and again, pulling the dictionary up with the spring scale and recording the amount of Newtons. Right now, you're going to predict the amount of Newtons it will take to pull the dictionary in all three instances. You're going to record it on your response sheet, and as usual, show your thinking with words and or numbers or diagrams. And as usual, be ready to discuss your predictions with your trusty triad come sunup.